You know, team rushes 436 yards, they ain't passing much. Right. So as we watch the captains come on the field tonight, we got number 10, Trey Huff, number 9, Franklin Brown back for the Red Devils, number 25, Claxton Jones, and number 50 tonight will be... Lane Pardon. Lane Pardon. I should have remembered that. <laughs> His daddy wore the same number when he was in high school. So we've got about two minutes and 31 seconds here. We're going to see. We've got the coin toss on the field. But tonight, again, we want to thank all our sponsors as they continue to support Red Devil football and to support our bringing this to the masses as we do every week. We want to appreciate all our sponsors. We also want to thank, again, Fast Times Convenience Store for their halftime package of chicken wings, pizza. Uh, tomorrow is barbecue day at Fast Time, so if you get up tomorrow and before them Bulldogs take on them Gamecocks, go by Fast Times Convenience Store and get you a barbecue sandwich. Matter of fact, go ahead and get you two. But anyway, a beautiful night here. The sun is set down below the school over there. Uh, we got here and it was pretty hot, but now it has cooled off tremendously, probably in the last, I'd say, 15 minutes as the sun is going down in the west uh, behind the school. Again, I want to tell you this is a great facility here at Commerce. If you've ever been here, we're going to probably be doing two things. We're going to be going towards the scoreboard or going towards the concession stand gym as we get started. Lincoln County tonight's going to be in all white. We got the white britches, the white tops, and the red numbers. Commerce is going to be in all black with the gold numbers as we get ready. And Commerce looks like they will receive the kickoff. So Lincoln County will start off the second half with the ball. And as we just patiently wait here for the Red Devils to run out onto the field uh, with the beautiful artwork tonight, I wish you could see it. It says, wipe out the Tigers. They did a great job, the cheerleaders did, of making the run out sign for the football team. Yeah, Lincoln County traveled good tonight. Oh, yeah, we got a good stand. We got a good, good crowd here. This is homecoming tonight for Commerce Tigers, so we will have some delays during halftime. As Lincoln County Red Devils run on to the field. I tell you another game I remember late in there. My wife and I were dating this year as well, and we came here. And I might have my exact numbers wrong, but I believe Coach Campbell was going for his 300th win at this stadium um, in 2003 or 2004. And we came to that game, and I remember uh, that was a really tough game, and Lincoln County was not able to leave with a win that night. And Benton, Benton reminded me before we started that two years ago we were here, I actually did the first half by myself because y'all got stuck in a car wreck that happened on the train tracks, and y'all couldn't get across train tracks <laughs> coming in. So uh, I guess they ain't got as good sheriff's deputies as we got. Probably not. County, right? they, they, ain't, right they, ain't move, they ain't moving fast enough. <laughs> And so Layton's in the sweat box in there. We got about a 30-degree difference between where the press box is and standing right outside. It is a beautiful night for football. It feels amazing um, outside, but on the inside where we are, not so much. Uh, I, I told you for the game, I didn't know. Layton said, said he wasn't doing it, y'all. I was like, I was baking in here. <laughs> like a Boston bud on a smoker. <laughs> So Lincoln County gets ready as uh, Abraham Crawford comes out for the Red Devils and brings the Red Devils out as he's fixing to tee it up as we're going to get it started here in Commerce. 7.30 kickoff. I know that's kind of rare for Commerce. It's usually 8 o'clock kickoff all the time, but tonight we're going to be kicking off at 7.30. And again, you'll be as the offense comes out for Commerce after they kick off, they're going to be looking for a lot of rushing yards. That devil defense is going to have to hunker down. Lincoln County gets started. Low line kick, a little squib kick. Going to uh -oh. be fielded down about the 35-yard line. It bounced right off his chest. He tried to let it cradle into his stomach, and it bounced right off his chest. And It was almost a turnover on the kickoff, just like Leighton said. The ball will be placed at the 36-yard line. First and 10, Commerce Tigers. 11.56 left to go here in the first quarter. Nothing, nothing as we get started here in Commerce. Again, Lincoln County comes out showing that 5-3 defense. Yeah. 
So it looks like Trey Huff's going to be playing in the middle of that linebacker group along with C.J. Crite and Heath Cresswell. Up oh, flag on the play already. They're going to break the huddle with 12. So that's going to already put Commerce in a first and long situation on the first play of the ball game. Commerce broke the huddle. I don't think they realized there were 12 in the huddle. The guy tried to run off, and there's a flag on the play. So that's going to move them back five yards. Ball be placed on the 30-yard line, first and 15 for the Tigers. And we're having a question from Doug asking if we are connected to the station. As far as I know, we are. I'm looking at all our equipment. Please let us know, somebody, if you can hear us, because we just got a text message. Okay, I think we're good. So uh, Commerce comes out on offense, tight formation. Quarterback goes under center. Man goes in motion from right to left. Quarterback takes the snap. He's going to pitch it to the outside, going around the left side of that line. And a lot of broken tackles. He almost broke it. If he would have got past that last defender, he would have been gone trying to get a number. Number four um, for Lincoln County, that's Samaj Jenkins on the tackle, that last line of defense. He's going to pick up about five back, so that's going to put them back where they were. It's going to make it up. Another penalty, a legal shift they call on the Tigers, so you can wipe that play out. That was about a five-yard gain. That was Jaden Daniels for Commerce carrying the ball first time out. But it puts off his gain and pushes him back. So now it's going to be a first and 20 situation. And Leighton said in the last game, the first couple series were disasters for Commerce. So far, it's been a fumble kickoff and two penalties in a row. It has not been a very good start for Commerce tonight. So here it is, first and 20, balls all the way back at the 29-yard line now. And this time they bring a wide out left, Commerce does. Quarterback's under center, takes the snap. He's going to hand it off. He's going to go right up the middle, nowhere to go. He's going to be brought down after a gain of about one or two. Uh, that front side of that line, I believe that was big Trey, number 55, Trey Turner, and number 15, Jack Antonakis, wrapped him up. C.J. Kreit also coming in to help bring him down. It's going to be a pickup of about... They're going to say three, so now it's second down and 17. And they've definitely put the meat up there on the defensive line tonight with Ananakis and Trey Turner and also 66, Bryson Hurst. Commerce breaks the huddle. They bring another one out wide left. Quarterback under shotgun, I formation. Tight end goes in motion from right to, from left to right. He's going to hand it off. There's a lot of room around the left side, and he tries to get around a block. That time, Samaj Jenkins, again, doing a great job. It looked like he was going to be able to get around. They had a blocker hey. on Samaj Jenkins, and Jamal Samaj came off his block and was able to bring him down. As soon as the line shifted over with that misdirection, they were out in no man's land, and Samaj Jenkins saves the Red Devils after he gets off, he gets off that block. Yeah, because he would have been gone for a oh, touchdown. Yeah. There was nobody else on that side of the field. That was a pickup of seven. That's going to make it third down and ten here in the first quarter. Ten minutes to go in the first. Commerce this time sends their wide out right. Quarterback under center. Uh, man goes in motion again. That should be another flag. It was two men in motion, but I don't see a flag. And he's wrapped up in the backfield, and he gets away from it, but not before the rest of the Red Devil defense gets there. It's going to be a loss of three yards on the play. It's going to make it fourth down and 13. It was number six, R.J. Crite, that wrapped him up initially, and he was able to get out of the, the foothold, but then there was about four other Red Devils there I to mean, bring him down. I think the only Red Devil that wasn't in there was, Ju was Justin Zellers. Everybody else was wide on top of him. And I think that should have been another flag. The tight end motioned while the wide out motioned at the same time. I missed that one. So we got some Mars Jenkins back for the Red Devils. He's going to receive the punt. Commerce is lined up. Decent sized punt, yeah, low good line, punt, good, good bounce, punt. good home time bounce for Commerce, and that's going to start us off around the 20 yard line, about, about right, about 18. So Lincoln County will start first and 10, ball on the 18. Got a long way to go and a short time to get there. 8.59 left to go here in the first quarter, 0 0, as Lincoln County gets ready to start. And again, the Red Devils are going to be led out by Trey Huff, the quarterback, as he is played some of his high school football here in Commerce. His father coached here, now coaches for the Red Devils. 
Lincoln County comes out. One wide receiver going to be James Madison. Going to line up. Quarterbacks under center. Tight set by the Red Devils. Going to do a little cross book. Number nine, Kelby Glaze. A little small carry for the Red Devils as he gets maybe a yard, nothing else. That was number 23 for the, on the tackle, Matthew Simpson. Number eight, Kelby Glaze, excuse me. They're going to show no gains. It'll be second and 10 for the Red Devils. Commerce running a 4 4 defense. Well, now they shift to a 5 3. Kelly comes out, line. quarterback under center, got a man in motion, going to pitch it out. Here comes the Myers Jenkins again, trying to get around that side. He's going to make it, and he gets out to about the 30 yard line before he's brought out of bounds. That was just the right play call right there. They they bunched everybody in tight, and our defense, I mean, our uh, ends, um, our tackle uh, on the right side did a great job of closing off that right side, and that gave Samaj a lot of room to run. Great job by the right tackle that time. I think that was number 61. There's a flag uh, on the play. I think it's going to be against the Red Devils. It's going to move oh, us back. Man, that was a great play. That was a great execution. Good blocking that time. I think that was number 61, Levi Bessinger, that closed off that end. So it must be some type of motion call. Moves us back five yards. Just barely inside the 15-yard line. Going to be second and 15. Already seen a lot of yellow laundry tonight. Start this ball game. Trey Huff gets the call from the sidelines. He comes back out. Got about 10 seconds left to go on the play clock. Going to have to hurry it up a little bit. Another tight set by the Red Devils. One wide receiver, number 13, Elam. Quarterback's going to roll out. He's looking, he's looking. He may have to take it himself. He is going to run out of bounds after a small game. Yeah, tried to do a bootleg that time. I believe, I think it was number 13, CJ Crite. That was I'm trying sorry. to do a drag route out to the outside. Yep, but he had a man in his back pocket. Yep, the guy did a great job in coverage. Because I think that was a really good call that time, doing that early. But they just had good coverage on it, and Trey doing the only thing he could do, and that was tuck it and run. So back to the original line of scrimmage, pick up a five yards by Trey Huff. Going to bring up third and ten for the Red Devils. 7.52 left to go here in the first quarter. Still nothing, nothing. Lincoln County comes back up to the line. Trey Huff under center. Trey Huff's going to roll out. He's looking, he's looking, he's looking. He's got him a man down there. Oh, overthrowed Samaj Jenkins. On the far side of the field, Samaj was about the 35-yard line, and we just overthrew him. So that's going to bring up fourth down for the Red Devils. The clock stops at 745. Still nothing, nothing here in the first quarter as Lincoln County with the first possession tonight is going to have to kick off to the Tigers. Yeah, it was his own coverage that time. Samaj did the right thing, sat down right in between the linebacker and the safety back there or the corner in the safety and had a lot of room just overthrew him. The one thing we're going to miss tonight, Judson Beggs usually does the punting for the Red Devils. He yeah. is out. And uh, it's a small punt, just mainly air as it rolls out to about the 37, 38-yard line. Going to be great field position as they're going to be in Red Devil territory for the Commerce Tigers. Punting was Bryson Dawkins, number 24, uh, punting tonight. I'm sure they've been trying to work with him this week as, again, Judson's been a great punter all season and uh, Bryson just trying to get his feet wet tonight. So, hey, first time receiving that long snap late and getting that punt off, that's a big deal, man. That'll, that'll calm his nerves a little bit now. That was a – my people might say that was only about a 20-yard punt, but they don't know how hard it is that first time getting your feet wet in that position. So, so great job, Bryson. Oh, yeah. They're going to place him at the 40, first and, first and 10 on the 40 for the Tigers. So, again, Commerce comes out of their huddle. They bring one wide out to the left. Quarterback's under center. Tight end's lined up on the right. He's been motioning every play. Well, this time the left tight end motions from left to right. Quarterback takes the snap. He hands it off to the fullback, and it was a great tackle right up the middle. Was that? Yep, of course. Who else but number 13, C.J. Kreit, um, who's been just a great linebacker this season, met him right about two yards past the line of scrimmage, so they're going to give him two on the play, but he took him down hard, and that's a big linebacker. Great tackle by number 13. So it'll be second and eight for the Commerce Tigers as the ball is on the 37-yard line going towards the scoreboard here in Commerce. 0-0, seven minutes to go in the first quarter. 
Commerce goes under center this time. A wide outs to the left. Man goes in motion from left to right. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off to his running back. His one running back's weaving and diving, and he's going to pick up a few. I believe that was Heath Cresswell. Yep, Heath Cresswell on the tackle. Looked like he was riding a pig that time, jumped on his back, pulled him down. It's going to be a pickup of about seven, so it's going to be third and one. Ball on the 31-yard line. You would imagine they're two down territory here. Oh, yeah, got to be. Being third and one, this time they send a, a big man on the go back on the line, big number 66. Brinson Hurst goes out. We bring one of our smaller guys off. Quarterback goes under center, takes the snap. He's going to hand off to his run back, and he weaves, and you can see he picked up about three on the play. It's going to be a first down. You can see he's just slippery back there. He, I tell you, he reminds, yeah. me, of, he reminds me of Monte, the way he's trying to run. Monte yep. didn't shoot like a cannon out. He really was patient, looked for those holes, and that's what this running back's been doing tonight, just trying to weave his way through. So it moves Commerce on the 25-yard line, be first and 10 for the Tigers. 557 left to go here in the first. Still nothing, nothing here in Commerce. Here at homecoming for Commerce Tigers tonight. First and 10, ball on the 25. Commerce breaks huddle. One wide out to the left. Man goes in motion from left to right. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off to his running back, and this time he finds a big hole, and he cuts out to the left, and you can see he's fast, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be a touchdown. Oh, he has got some speed when he gets out in the open. That is for sure. So number six, Daniels, for the Tigers, scores at 534 here in the first quarter to make it 6 nothing. Tigers on top of the Devils. And he, he was inside, and he just was able to break to the outside, and there was nobody out there. When he got through that hole, there was nobody there to stop him. And I think number four, Samaj, was the closest to him. So here we go. They line up for the extra point. Snap is good. Hold is good. Kick is up. And it is good. So that is seven to six Commerce with five minutes and 34 seconds left to go in the first quarter. So seven nothing Commerce on top. 534 left to go in the first. We're going to pause for the calls and come back to you. 98.7 FM, Lincoln County Broadcast Network. Welcome back, Red Devil fans. 5.34 left to go here in the first. The Tigers from Commerce on top 7 to nothing as we give them great field position. They take advantage of it and go in for the score off of a 20-yard run by Daniels from the Tigers. So Lincoln County ready to get the ball in, see if they can answer on this score. Commerce is getting the ball teed up. And we've got, uh, looks like, a couple of Red Devils back there. I can't quite get a number. I can't on. get a number either. I, I think it's Samaj on one side, but it's a short kick. And it's going to be taken by one of the up men. So short kick taken out to about the 40-yard line. Good field position for Lincoln County. First and 10. Ball will probably be around the 40-yard line as we're going to try again second time. See what we can do. They will place the ball at the 40-yard line as we're going towards the gym here in Commerce. Oh, just a beautiful night here in Commerce as it does start to cool down a little bit here in this press box a little bit. Man, it feels great out here. It is a nice night of football. Huff's going to bring the Red Devils out. 5.29 go here in the first quarters. 7 nothing. Lincoln County down. Really need an answer here. Lincoln County lines up. One wide receiver to the left. Got a man in motion, and there's going to be a flag on the play. So false start by the Red Devils. Going to move us back five yards. Going to be first and 15. Ball will be placed at the 35-yard line. Five 
So Lincoln County, not the way you want to start off a series with a motion call, offsides. Lincoln County comes back out, first and 15, ball on the 35. This time quarterback under center, wide receiver in just a hair. Tight set by the Red Devils. Going to hand it off to the running back, and he's got a lane in there. As he's still on his feet all the way down to the 47-yard uh, yard line. That was a nice, tough run. I didn't get a number. Was that Colby? Couldn't see either. I mean, Kelby Glaze. Kelby uh, Glaze, I, I think. I, I didn't see a number. It looked like a single digit Number four. Ben says Samaj Jenkins, number okay. four, is a good gain. 14-yard gain by Samaj Jenkins. It's going to take a second and short. So second and one ball on about the 48-yard line. It's a good play for the Red Devils. Lincoln County comes back out. Claxton Jones in the backfield for the Red Devils. Got a man in motion. Again, another flag on the play. Motion again by the Red Devils. I didn't see it. I'm looking right down the line. Um, I'm literally, I was standing in perfect formation to look right down that line. I don't know who they're calling it on unless it's a way Samaj was going in motion and he went in motion to play before that, they called it. I don't know if it was a way he was moving in the motion. Yeah, he may, maybe he's taking a step forward and then he, I don't know. It, but they threw the flag immediately when Samaj went into motion. So ball on the 44, going to be second and seven for the Red Devils. Come out this time, big wide receiver set. Two to the right, one to the left, quarterback in the shotgun. And he's going to roll out. He's looking, he's looking. He's still looking. He's going to have to throw it away. And he does throw it on the sideline, a rope. And they're going to say it's incomplete to James Madison. Yeah, they're saying, they're saying his knee hit out of bounds uh, when he fell. He actually completed the pass, but they're saying that his knee hit the ground but I actually think he caught the ball before his knee touched. It happened right in front of us, and his knee did fall into out of bounds, but I thought that he caught it before his knee touched. He was close to the sideline. Coach Hopkins giving the referee. Yeah, a he's arguing. I believe he's arguing the same thing I'm saying. I think he caught the ball still in the air before so, he fell. So third and seven. Lincoln County this time in a tight set. One wide receiver to the right. Got a man in motion, going to hand it off to number two. He gets around the corner. He's got enough for a first down and still got some more as he goes into Tiger territory. And that's that star freshman, Makai Wade. Makai Wade, who played quarterback for us man, for a couple of good. weeks. Fast young man. I was telling my dad they got to get him the ball some because, man, well, he is magical with it in his hand. I know, I know he's a freshman, but, man, he, he is something special when he gets that ball in his hand and – that was a big third down pickup that we needed right there. Big third down. First and 10, Lincoln County over on the Tiger side. Ball on the 43, first and 10. This time quarterback under center. He's going to pitch it off. And here we go, number 25, back to Jones. Well, fumble, fumble on the, on the play. play. Commerce recovers. Oh, my goodness. So Claxton Jones coughs it up. Ball will be on the 35-yard line. First and 10, Tigers on the 35. After Claxton Jones coughs it up to the Tigers. So Josiah Claxton Jones coughs it up. First and 10 Tigers. Yeah, and he's mad at himself. I mean, you can see him. If you, if any of you guys know Josiah, man, what a great young man. And you know, man, that kills him to know that, that he just coughed that ball up. It was a good hit by the defender. Just hit, put his helmet on the ball and knocked it right out of his arms. And Commerce players were the only ones around it able to fall on it. The ball on the 35, first and 10 Tigers, 349 left to go here in the first, and the seven nothing Tigers on top. So quarterback goes under center, takes the snaps, gonna hand it off to his running back, who's got a lot of room. Good shoestring tackle by number 13, CJ Cry. Does it look like that was gonna be a big pickup? And it only ended up being a pickup of about seven, but it could have been a lot more if CJ wouldn't have been able to stretch out and grab those feet. Actually, they're going to give him six on the carry. It's going to make it second down and four, ball on the 41-yard line. And you can definitely see this running back for Commerce has some real speed, ladies and gentlemen, very fast. Because when he moves, it doesn't look like he's even trying to move, and he is he's taking a lot of ground very quickly. 
Commerce comes out one wide out to the left. Quarterback goes under center, takes the snap, hands it off to his running back again. This time he had a little bit of a hole, but he closed it quickly. Good job. It was number 13, C.J. Crichton, trying to get a number on, I think that was number 12, Christian Elam. Uh, that was there to help C.J. out that time. They wrapped him up together, closed that hole up. Good job to keep him from a first down. It's going to be a pickup of one. It's going to make it third down and two. They said the running back last year when he was a freshman had 1,500 yards rushing. True. I mean, you can see this kid's, this kid's got some real moves, man. He is, he is fast. So third down and two, ball on the 34, I mean the 44-yard line. Man goes in motion from left to right. Quarterback takes the snap. They're going to pitch it out left. So we're stretching them out, stretching them out. Great job by that defense. They Great wrap them up in the Great backfield. Job. Was that Heath Cresswell? That was Heath Cresswell. Heath Cresswell in the, the backfield. Loss of about a yard and a half, maybe two yards on the play. It's going to make it fourth and four. So Commerce is going to have to punt away. We needed that stop right there. So Samaj Jenkins going back for the Red Devils. As he gets nestled back about the 25-yard line, Commerce comes out in the punt formation. 150 left to go here in the first quarter. 7-0 Commerce on top. Washington Wilkes lead in Elbert County right now in the first quarter. 7-0. High punt. Samaj going to let it bounce. It's going to take a little home time bounce. 25-yard line. And they're going to kneel it dead, 25-yard line, right at the 24, first and 10, Lincoln County. So they're going to mark it at the 24, first and 10, Lincoln County, 126 left to go here in this first quarter. Moving right along here in Commerce. As we've had a lot of laundry on the field, but they hadn't stopped the clock from moving much. And Lincoln County needs to answer right here. A series of unfortunate events today, whether it be penalties or fumbles, whatever. So Lincoln County, quarterback under center tight set, almost like a goal line set. Now we'll hand it off to the side. Trying to crawl for yardage. He does get some part of positive yardage. Well, Got a late hit on the Tigers. And Lincoln County's going to take advantage of that. Samaj Jenkins. Well, there's actually the two penalties on the play late, and the first penalty is going to be on Lincoln County, a hold uh, that they threw early, and then there's going to be a late hit. And because it was out of bounds, I'm assuming it's after the play. So Lincoln County will get to 15 yards. They will not offset. Should. Yeah, so they'll have to go back five yards because I'm sure Commerce will take that penalty, and then they'll move them up five, I mean up ten, well, 15, it will end up only being a net of 10. So they should have the ball at the 33-yard line. Look at them math skills you got, man. Man, look at, look at that. Miss Edmonds would be proud. I know that's the truth. I hope she's listening right now. You hear that, Miss Edmonds? I did that in my head. I didn't even need a calculator. Well, she, she, knew, she knows you done turned into a preacher's. And preachers well, actually, count, I huh? did it wrong because I... <laughs> I forgot that holding is a 10-yard penalty. I said that wrong. So I thought I said five yards, so it's actually going to be a net of five. But it will be first down. It will be automatic first down. So they'll have the ball at about the 28. Yeah, they're going to put it down at the 29-yard line. So it should be first and 10 Lincoln County from there because it's automatic first down on the 15-yard penalty. So they're trying to get straight. They're going to move the chains. They don't give us a first. Well... It looks like they just replaying first down. Yep. So quarterback under center. Running the plays, Josiah, Josiah Claxton Jones again. Small game. Might have got back to the line of scrimmage and nothing else. No, I think he lost a few yards. That was a short pitch. I don't know if the – I'm not sure if it was called that way, but it was a kind of an awkward-looking play. The pitch was very short and right in front of that defense. It's going to be a loss of about two on the play. So second down and about eight, 51 seconds left to go here in the first. Quarterback under center. Glaze gonna be the wide receiver out to the right, They're going towards the gym here in Commerce. Quarterback gets ready. He's gonna go out, he's gonna look for a pass. He's going to roll out, he's going to change directions. He hits Samaj Jenkins 
on the left side of the field for a good gain. And it was called as a misdirection type play. Fake the pass out right to look back left, and Samaj was out there. But I'm telling you, man, this Commerce defense being very disciplined tonight because that most, most single-A defenses, I'm telling you, that would have fooled them big time. And that defensive back stayed at home and was there because Samaj would have scored a touchdown if nobody would have been there. So got a couple yards gained there. Going to make it third and six for Lincoln County, and that's going to be in the first quarter. So at the end of the first, seven nothing. Commerce on top. We're going to break and go back to the station for one. 98.7 FM, Lincoln County Broadcast Network. Dang, that was some good defense because that should have, that was a good call. Well, if it hadn't been so high and he had to jump up for it, he might have yeah, been he, he, Yeah, he might would have been able to get out because it was just one-on-one -on -one out there. But still, that defender staying home that good, that was. Yep. And welcome back, Red Devil fans. Here we start the second quarter here in Commerce. Lincoln County down 7 nothing. As we're going to change sides of the field, be going towards the scoreboard here in Commerce. And after a two-yard gain on a pass, Lincoln County still in a little bit of a hole here with about third and six. Man, don't turn them lights on. It's already hot enough up here. I was just seeing if they work, Layton. They work. Layton's in a complaining mood today, ladies I and gentlemen. I am, man. I'll right, tell you, listen, it's hot up here. I apologize to all y'all if he's a little grouchy today. Ball on the 29, third and about a long six for the Red Devils. One wide receiver out to the left, James Madison. Now, hold on a minute. They got some discussion down there on the sideline. Coach Hopkins has already given this man an earful, and he's still on it. I'm not sure what's going on. He is mad about something. They've so got a timeout yeah. for the Red Devils. So uh, they take one. We're going to take one and come back to you. 98.7 of him, Lincoln County Broadcast Network. He's, he's talking to that head judge. It looks pretty close to me, but I mean. He probably. It, it, I think he's right. It probably should be closer to third and five. And welcome back, Red Devil fans, as they're still in a spirited debate on the sideline. Coach Hopkins is arguing about the spot of the football. And I think and he's got a point because if you remember, it was first and five. Then we were tackled for a two-yard loss. Then we completed a ball for two yards. So it should be third and five. And right now they got it marked about third and seven almost. So long third down for the Red Devils. And they're still in a spirited debate. And just a beautiful night here in Commerce. Man, that pink sky back there behind the school. Man, fall is coming. You know, it looks like Coach Hopkins is not going to get the ball moved <laughs> because the head judge has moved off the, off of the, out of the discussion. And I, I do think we're probably pretty close to about two yards. We're about two yards shorter where we should be. It should be about third and five, but now it looks like it's about third and seven. So third and seven for the Red Devils. Seven nothing. Commerce on top. We start the second quarter going towards the gym. About two yards. I mean, going towards the scoreboard. Huff's going to be under center. One wide receiver. Got a man in motion. Going to fake it off. Going to do a little bootleg out to the right. He's, he's got some space. He's got oh, some he's space. Claxton Jones in the flat. So there, there we, we go. go. Ball on the 43. First and 10 like a county. That's right. Don't worry about them two yards. Just get it anyway. Good Just job. Just get it anyway. Good, Good job. job. So Lincoln County, first and 10. Going to spot the ball at the 41-yard line. 
Good bootleg pass there, Huff to Claxton Jones. 11.52 left to go here in the second. 7 nothing. Tigers on top. They're going to come out this time wide receiver. Wide. He's almost in the visitor stands over here. Quarterback under center. Got him man in motion. They're going to pitch it off. And here we go. Number nine. No, it's number no, it's two. Makai again. Makai again. As he glides over the 50-yard line. And here we are in Tiger territory. Ball on the 48. I'm telling you, man, I keep giving it to him right now. There's something about him, man. I don't know what it is, but he is. And I'm not taking Samaj has been a great running back. Josiah, I mean, not taking away from those guys at all. But right now, man, number two is just special when he has it in his hand. So first down, first and 10, ball on the 47. Correction, beat 48. Just inside Tiger territory. Obviously, he's going to move sides of the field. Quarterback, Anderson. And here we go. Oh, what a stick on Wade. Oh, man. That was a stick on Wade. He got back to the line of scrimmage and nothing else. He took his helmet off. So yeah. Wade will have to come out. Big hit on Wade. Yeah, that one probably knocks his breath out a little bit right there because even the way the player, the defender fell on him, um, it wasn't just the stick. It was also the takedown, man. He kind of he kind of planted into his chest a little bit. Um, and, but, hey, he hopped right up. That freshman, tough. Oh, man, I got cords all over my feet. <laughs> so second and nine. Quarterback under center. Second and nine for the Red Devils. 11.07 left to go here in the first half. Quarterback on the center, got a man in motion, going to hand it off straight up the middle to Claxton Jones, and he gets nothing. Yeah, those, those tight inside runs so far tonight ain't doing a whole lot for us. Everything we're getting is outside of the tackles. Um, those, those defensive tackles doing a really good job up the middle, and that's going to make it third and long. So third and long for the Red Devils. After we got across the 50, we just stopped. Melbourne County is taking the lead eight to seven against Washington. Quarterback under center, quarterback's gonna go out. Straight back. He got a man wide open. Oh, 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 that should be a penalty. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. The guy went head to head with him. And the judge over there that looked at it head on, he didn't even throw the flag. Oh, my gosh. So head to head as the quarter, the wide receiver was in a vulnerable state. He gets rocked. Samaj Jenkins for the Red Devils. I mean, definitely went head to head while Samaj was in the air. I mean, he, he lunged at him like a torpedo. Put his head right in his head, and so, if, if there's ever been a textbook target, that would be that would definitely be a textbook target. Huff's passes have been a little high tonight, and Samaj Jenkins paid for it, so left him hanging out there as he got plumbled by the Tigers, and that's gonna move us. What are we doing here? What are we doing? These referees. Yeah, they struggling tonight. They can't spot a dollar. <laughs> I tell you what, he started going the other way. We're going towards the scoreboard, and he's going back the other way. He's going back towards 85. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Tell them they're supposed to be marching out towards Jefferson. Yeah. They're going to mark the ball at the 32-yard line, first and 10, Lincoln County. 14 seconds left to go on the play clock. Quarterback on the center. One wide receiver going to hand it off straight to the side by the tackle. As Claxton Jones. No, I think that was uh, Kelby. Kelby. Nope, that was Meatball, number nine. Number nine. Franklin Brown with his first carry of the night. As he comes off tackle, picks up about five yards. Going to be second and five for Lincoln County. Ball about the, ooh, let's call it 26-yard line. And James Madison, wide receiver, goes out all the way to the home side of the field. 
Got a man in motion. Going to pitch it off. Here comes Samaj. Samaj looking for that hole. Got a flag, flag on the play. play. Another flag. There's two flags. One downfield, too. So Samaj Jenkins got two flags on the play. It would have been a first down, but I'm going to guess the way that was thrown is going to be holding. Maybe they'll go the other way instead of the right way. <laughs> Blocking the back, man. And holding against Lincoln County. They'll give us the block in the back. Moves us all the way back to the... Thirty looks like a thirty-eight yard line. So second in a heap. So ball on the thirty-seven. Second and about sixteen. Nine oh eight left to go on the clock. Seven nothing. Tigers on top. Lincoln County looking for a breakout. They're gonna fake the pitch. They're gonna give it on the inside. Wade is no, he's not going anywhere. Did a little cross buck there, did not work. Wade behind the line of scrimmage, probably a loss of one. So they read it perfectly. They might as well have been inside the huddle. Yeah, again, that just goes into them being disciplined. I mean, the, the defenders, it was, a, it was a fake pitch. And instead of going to the pitch, them tackles stayed right on the quarterback and the running back. And when he handed it off to Makai, they was all over him. There was nowhere for him to go. So a loss of two on the play. Going to move us back even further. Third and a country mile. Ball on the 39. 8.21 left to go here in the second. Lincoln County in a hole. 7 nothing. Got two wide receivers this time to the left. And we're going to take a minute. We're going to talk about it. So we're going to pause for the calls on the timeout. Come back to you. 98.7 FM, Lincoln County Broadcast Network. Mm. Yeah, that popping ain't coming through when they're not playing something there. Yeah. And welcome back, Lincoln County Real Devil fans. 8-11 left to go here in the second. We're down 7 nothing here in Commerce. As we two steps forward and one step back, we just cannot make our way to get into the red zone or to score here in Commerce. Chocolate-covered coffee beans. I hear you. You're going to be some energy. You're going to be jumping, ain't you? Yeah. So we're going to break out of the timeout. Again, third in the country mile. Again, we want to thank all our sponsors here on the radio show. I want to thank 98.7 FM radio station. I want to again thank Fast Times Convenience Store in Lincoln and Georgia for a halftime package. Wide receiver out to the left. Got a man in motion, quarterback on the center. They're going to hand it off. Here comes Wade. Way around the corner. Oh, when he gets pulled down, almost by the neck. It was by the neck. Down to about the 35-yard line. And you got to make a decision here. You're going to go for it, you're going to punt it. Ball on the 34. It's fourth and still a, bit, a lot of yardage, about 13. Yeah, about 13. I... I so, to be honest with you, man, I would punt it here. Just try to pin them deep. Um, so fourth and 13, looks like they're going to go for it. They're bringing yeah. Huff in. Madison just checked back into the ball game. And if you could get a pass downfield, I'd feel good about it. But so far, we hadn't been able to connect. Quarterback in the shotgun. He's going to roll out. He's looking for a man. He's got a man out there. Boom, hits him right in the numbers. And I it think it's going to be a spot. complete pass. Where are you going to spot him at? I think he may be short, John. When I, it looks like maybe one half a yard if it's short. And they are going to be short. Huff hit him right in the numbers, just comes up a little short there. And it will be first and 10 commerce. 
Ball about the 30-yard line, 31-yard line. Is that about right, John? Yeah. That's one of those plays you have to make sure you get past the yardage. You is he, have to. No, nah, he's about, what is he, on the 20? What is it, 20? 21. 21. I thought that's what you said. I, I said 30. I'm sorry. I'm looking sideways crazy. He's at the 21-yard line. So first and 10 Tigers on the 21. As Lincoln County comes up a yard short on fourth down. Man, like half a yard short. Quarterback goes under center. Man goes in motion from left to right. They're going to hand it off to that fast running back, and he breaks free. He's got a lot of space. He's still running. He's still running. He's down the middle of the field. We got one player left that can get to him, and we get to him. Number one, Justin Simmons saves a touchdown. He gets all the way to the Commerce 29-yard line. That's going to be a pickup of about 45, 50 yards. So big game by the Tigers. It's going to put them in the driver's seat. 7.07 left to go here in the second. Again, Lincoln County down 7 to nothing. And Justin Simmons is doing a great job of pursuing downfield because he, he could have uh, he could have broke free of score if Justin went. We had just enough players slow him down so that when he got when he got past our secondary, he was just going slow enough for Justin Simmons to make up some ground from so the other side of the field. Ball on the 29-yard line, and we got another timeout. So timeout by the Tigers, going to leave them with two left. We're going to pause and come back to you, 98.7 FM, Lincoln County Broadcast Network. Where you get? Where you get? Man, you've been to the Bucky's? When would you go to Bucky's? Somebody brought me those. I love chocolate-covered coffee beans. And it's you want like coffee? Huh? I don't. And welcome back, Lincoln County Red Devil fans. We are here in Commerce, Georgia. 707 left to go in the second quarter. Lincoln County down 7-0 to Commerce. And uh, Lincoln County just went for it on a fourth down and was a half a yard short. Would have made it first and 10 from the 20. And then on the first play after the turnover on downs, Commerce rushes it about 50 yards downfield. And it tastes like you got Folgers going straight into your bloodline. You know it's good. Woo, I just taste the coffee. Real quick, while they're uh, not yet out on the field ready to set, I want to remind you guys, Pop Warner will be in Grovetown tomorrow. Come support Annie Keener and them little devil cheerleaders. Come out and support them tomorrow in Grovetown. So here we go. We're coming out of the timeout. Quarterback under center. Wide out is left. Man goes in motion from left to right. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off to his running back deep in the backfield. We wrap him up not far past the line. I believe number 66 was the first one to make contact, Brinson Hurst. If I got that number right, they're a long way from us right now. It's hard for me to see the numbers. It's going to be a pickup of trying to see. They hadn't, hadn't placed the ball. Now they do. Looks like it's going to be a pickup of two, make it second down and eight. Ball. About the 26 or 27 yard line. Again, the ball's on the other side of the field from where we are. It's it's really hard to make out. So here's we're a long way from the play. Yeah. Quarterback goes under center. Man goes in motion from left to right, wide out to the left. They're gonna hand it off to the fullback this time, and he runs right in the middle. Great job. I think that was Trey that made first contact. Number 10, Trey Huff, uh, doing a great job as a fullback dive, and he's gonna pick up a couple. But again. Um, I believe that's about the third time they've ran that fullback dive play. Lincoln County done a great job stopping that play tonight. They're going to give him two on the play, make it third down and about five to go. You focus so much on that running back, you don't expect yeah. that fullback to take the ball. That's why when we can stop it with a two-yard gain, I call that a win. Quarterback goes under center, takes the snap, hands it off to his running back. Deep. This time he's wrapped up in the backfield. He falls forward. It was number three, Heath Cresswell. On the tackle, he is going to fall forward for a couple. Let's see. I think they still hit him before. It's going to be fourth down. It is going to be fourth down, but let's see fourth and what? Fourth and one. Fourth and one. This will be a big play right here. If we can get them off the field right here, maybe we can close out this quarter. 
Yeah, a about, stop here would be a this will be a big stop right here, fourth and one. About five minutes left to go. They inside the twenty yard line barely. Looks like the ball sitting just inside the twenty. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off to his fullback. He's met immediately. Depends on the way he fell. It looks like they're gonna give him a first down. That was a great stick right up the middle. And again, I want to say it was Brinson Hurst. It's so far away from us, it's hard to tell. If if I'm missing the number, I apologize to the player because that was a great tackle. They're going to give him two yards on the play. He only needed one. And the only reason he got the two is because he's six foot tall and he fell forward. Ball just over the 20-yard line, about the 19, first and 10 Tigers. 4.45 left to go here in the second. Seven nothing Tigers on top. Commerce goes under center, takes the snap, hands it off to his running back. His running back's got a hole. He breaks to the outside. He's still fighting. We are so far, I couldn't even begin to tell you who made the tackle, but it is a touchdown saving tackle inside the five yard line at about the four. So first and goal for the Tigers as they're going towards the gym here in Commerce. If they're gonna try to crack this thing open they're knocking on the door. We are about 100 yards away. <laughs> I think they're first and goal about the two, aren't they? I think it's close to the to the four. The The scoreboard board is not giving us any info. I think they're around the four. I could be wrong. It could be the two, but it looks to me like it's about the four. But it's first and goal inside the five. Quarterback takes the snap. He hands it off to his running back. His running back has a lot of room to the right side. He goes in untouched for a touchdown. So Commerce on top, 13 to nothing, 3.59 left to go here in the second quarter. But, but Leighton, they, they gave us four minutes left to make it, put a drive together, and we get the ball to start the second half. So a long drive here is exactly what we need. They line up for the extra point. Snap is good, hold looks good, kick is up, and it looks good, and it is good. So it's going to be 14-7, com I mean 14-0 Commerce with 3.59 left to go in the first half. And we're going to take a pause and come back to you. 98.7 FM Lincoln County Broadcast Network. Welcome back, Red Devil fans. Four minutes left to go here in the second quarter. Lincoln County down, way down on the stick, 14 to nothing against these Tigers from Commerce. And we have moved the ball a little bit lately. I mean, we hadn't, we we hadn't moved, been sitting still. We but then still, we go we backwards. Just, we, we do. It's been a lot of penalties. Up and down, up and down. Tigers going to tee it up. And away we go. And a little squib kick down. Lincoln County's going down it. Good field position. Lincoln County's going down it. Jack Antonakis fields at about the 39-yard line. First and 10, Lincoln County, ball on 39. Good clean. Good and clean. Yeah, because that uh, was one of those that could bounce out of your hands real easy. Eh? I'm sure they were doing that, hoping to get something weird to happen. And, and I think now you've got to give, if you don't get nothing but a field goal. Yeah, we got You've got to put something on the board before you go into halftime. You do get the ball back uh, to start the third quarter. But we're just in a hole right here. And when you're, on, when you're in a hole against a rushing team that can eat up some clock, exactly. you're, in a, you're in a bad spot. Yeah, we need to. Lanky County comes out, one wide receiver and tight. Towards the visitor's side, going towards the scoreboard here in Commerce. Going to pitch it. Oh, uh, my goodness. He wasn't looking for the pitch. No, there was some miscommunication there because he pitched it to he, Samaj, and there was nobody, neither one of the running backs were looking for the pitch. There were two no. out there, hit Samaj in the shoulder pad. So... Hits the running back in the hands. He drops it out. I'm telling you, he was not looking for it. So that loses a yard. Second and 11. 
Ball on the 38. And we're starting off again in a hole. It's the clock at 325. Left to go here in the second. Lincoln County comes out. Another tight set for the Red Devils. Quarterback under center. Got a man in motion. He's going to hand it off to Samaj. He goes around the side. Trying to find the hole. He does find the hole. He's at the 50. He's got some legs on him, folks. He bulldozes one over around the 50-yard line, and he stops at the 47, first and 10, Lincoln County. That was a tough run. Uh, way to pick it up after the fumble just before that. Again, I don't know if the fumble was on miscommunication from Trey or Samaj, but that time, great job executing. Picked up about almost 20 yards. They're going to they're gonna show him down at the 45, first and 10, Lincoln County as we get into Tiger territory. Samaj turned the Tiger into a kitten. Bulldozed him around the 49 and kept going. Quarterback under center. Going to pitch it off again. We're going around the side. Here we go. Number two. Oh. Wade again with a hard hit. Got oh. a flag on the play. That was just what? a big tackle. Wade has took two hard hits tonight. Makai Wade, second and ten. There's a flag on the play, and it's going to be holding against the Devils. Again, two steps forward and one step back. 2.42, the clock stops. Yeah, I, that's, that's, uh, man, after, some of the, after that first hit that Makai took, man, I don't, I don't know how well he's even seeing right now. And that one, another big hit in the backfield. He's going to swap out with Kelby Glaze, number nine. No, excuse me, Franklin Brown, number nine. They're going to move us back to around the 45-yard back into Red Devil territory. Ball, ball game left at half. It's going to be 2.34 here in the second. Again, we're down 14 nothing. Lincoln County, quarterback. Under center, got a man in motion. Quarterback's going to take it back, a little fake handoff. He's looking for a hole. He's going to make his own. Went back for a pass, and he got flooded with Tigers. <clears throat> As quarterback gets back to the line of scrimmage and nothing else. And I'm wondering <clears throat> how healthy Meatball is because we haven't handed the ball off to him, that, and he's usually the number one target on passes, and they haven't thrown him the ball. He hasn't been on the field. He looks like he's got a little yeah, hit still he, in his giddy up. He got, you know, these ankle injuries. You got to trust. It's more about trust than it is the healing process of it. But he he's got to get that out of his mind. But he's still a little hitching his giddy up. One fifty clock is running. Second in a country mile. Quarterback in the shotgun. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness, they snapped it. Lane Parton snapped it. And we're going to lose major yardage there as Huff jumped back on the ball. Trey was talking to his, his, his slot man. I, I can't tell what who, who the slot man was. Trey who, was trying to direct he traffic was, yeah, after. He was trying to pull him in, and the slot man was arguing with Trey. And then before Trey knew it, Lane snapped it, and Trey was still talking to the slot man. He wasn't even looking for the ball. That was a so huge Hop loss. Hopskins uses his last time out of the half. And we're way back. We're third, and whew, I can't even add that much. I got to take my shoes off. That's 37, let's see, 10, 20, 30, almost 40. So third and 40. Probably third and 38. <laughs> well, it was two yards. I'm game, sorry, 33. The game started in commerce. We ended up in Athens. Now I'm embarrassing Miss Edmonds. I know, man. She, she'll 33 probably. 33 yards, looks like. She's going to call you. We're going to stay right here with you, get ready for the halftime show, the Fast Times halftime show. Fast Times convenience store in Lincoln in Georgia. Get all your pizza and chicken wings, hot dogs, sauce dogs, hamburgers, chicken sandwich, biscuits in the morning. What else you want? Barbecue on Saturday. You need your team to respond right here positively. Don't can't get down on yourself right now. We we're still in the game. Need to respond well. Third and long. Quarterback under center. Go hand it off. Franklin Brown and you saw the big hitch in his giddy up then as he slammed at the 30 yard line. Yeah, he's not, he's not nowhere near 100%. He does not have that boost off the ball. Clock stops at 126 as the Tigers take a timeout. 
We're going to pause and come back to you. 98.7 FM, Lincoln County Broadcast Network. Yeah, that, that, that was almost a wasted play almost. I mean, just because Meatball couldn't move. And welcome back, Red Devil fans, as we also want to give a shout-out to our seniors this year. 126 left to go here in the second quarter. Lincoln County down 14 to nothing. Third and, uh, I mean, just a long way. Well, it's fourth down. We're going to have to punt it. Ball on the 30. Dawkins out there. Punt. Good oh, punt in the good. night sky. Man, what a good punt. Missed the tackle. And finally get him down to the 35-yard line. Again, Kreit all night long, all night long, all over this field. C.J. Kreit with the tackle. Ball at the 35, first and 10, Commerce at the 35. Again, 116 left to go here in the second quarter. Lincoln County on the short end, 14 to nothing down to these Tigers. That was a great punt. Like I said earlier, his first one, that was his first of his career. You just want to get that one off. That's your goal. Yeah. And after that, you get more comfortable. That time, great punt that time. It flipped the field big time for us. Oh. So now Commerce. Ball in 35. Oh, yeah. Uh, Commerce comes out on offense now. Ball on 35-yard line. One minute and 16 seconds left to go in the first half. Takes the snap. Hands it off to his running back. He's got a big hole. Oh, my goodness. He's got a big hole. And he's wrapped up. By Makai Wade in the back, way deep in the backfield. And it's going to be a pickup of about 20 yards on the carry. He's going to get all the way up to, let's see, the 40, Lincoln County's 44 yard line. And, and they're rushing right along. Yeah, Commerce. Are. Commerce takes the snap again, looks for a hole. This time, nowhere to go. They bring him down after a pickup of two that time. Heath Cresswell, the and first see, one there. And then. That's not number six. That's a different running back. That's number two. He's been fresh the whole game. They just brought him in there. This is his first time carrying the ball in the whole game. Right at 40 seconds now, 14-0. Commerce up, trying to get to halftime with no more damage. Hands it off to his running back in the backfield. This time, C.J. Crite there in the backfield. They drive C.J. forward a little bit. They're going to be right out of first down. Let's see where they spot it. I think they're going to say third and one. They are, and it's, under, it's at 20 seconds, so this is looking good for Lincoln County. we got to hold them right here. 20 seconds to go in the half. Hands it off. Uh, fakes the handoff. This time the quarterback's going to keep it. Great, Great read job there. in the backfield. What number is that? Is that number six? I believe that's R.J. Kreit, number six. Great read there by the Red Devil defense as they track the quarterback down for a loss to bring up fourth and about and three. And that's going to take us to the half. Great job, defense. That is exactly what we needed. Way to end the first half with a great tackle by the Red Devil defense. Stay tuned for the halftime show. Benton's going to blow us up with all the stats, some that you want, some that you don't. And we're going to be right back. And welcome back, Red Devil fans. 14 nothing. Lincoln County is trailing here in Commerce. We're going to start the third quarter. As Lincoln County will receive to start the third quarter. And just looking on the sideline, Layton, it looks like we got a little bit of positivity going on out there. I see some guys jumping around. They, not a, there aren't a lot of guys with their heads hung low. So that's a, that's a good thing. Again, this is when you see how mentally tough you are. Down 5-14 on the road. Had a lot of mental mistakes in the first half. Clean those up. It's a different ball game. I mean, really, clean those up. And um, at worst, this should be a seven-point ball game. Should be about a tied ball game today, honestly. Um, so let's, let's, answer, let's answer the call right here as we get the ball to start the second half. So Commerce is going to come out. They're going to tee the ball up. Red Devils ready. 
late and that didn't even gave us no good funny calls today with any good. <laughs> it's all been sad news. <laughs> Lincoln County's going to field the ball at about the 30-yard line. Wade out there for the Red Devils. He's going to run it out to about the 40-yard line. First and 10, Lincoln County, ball on the 40. So Lincoln County, first and 10. They're going to mark the ball right at the 40-yard line. Good field position to start out for the Red Devils. They're going to mark us up a little bit further, about the 43. So first and 10 on the 43. Good starting field position. Lincoln County under center. Got a man in motion. Quarterback's going to roll out. He's going to pass the ball. He does. Oh, it gets swatted down by the Tigers. He rolled out, had his man, and got swatted down by the defense of the Tigers. Going to be second and 10. Clock stops at 11.49. Here in the third, again, we're down 14 to nothing to the Tigers. And you had Samaj running free down there where he was going to throw the ball. It was a nice play call, but he uh, just had a defender in his face. So we come out passing the ball. Bootleg to the right. We're going towards the scoreboard here in Commerce. Lincoln County comes out, quarterback under center, one wide receiver to the left towards the visitor side. Going to hand it off now, a little cross buck. Here comes Samaj Jenkins as he's gobbled up just past the line of scrimmage, maybe again about two, going to be third and eight. Not the way you want to start out. So good game. We're going to be around the 45-yard line. Pickup of two. Third and eight. Huff coming in from the sideline. Play clock at 16. Break the huddle. Got two wide receivers set out there. Got a man in motion. Quarterback under center. Here we go around the side. Here comes Wade. And Wade's going to be stopped. Line of scrimmage and maybe nothing else. Maybe a gain of one. Going to bring up fourth and seven for the Red Devils. So puts us in a hole, fourth and seven. We have to punt it off. Yeah, and you didn't want to three and out's probably worst case scenario to start the second half, honestly. Even getting a first down would have done a lot to get them, get them back into the game emotionally and mentally. But that three and out's, out's a killer. So ball on the 45, Huff back there for the Red Devils. He's going to punt it away. Ball, good snap. Punted way high, almost blocked. Going to come down around the 20-yard line. Fair call Looks at the like 21. It. So first and 10 Tigers, ball at the 21, 10-18. Left to go here in the third quarter, 14-nothing Tigers on top. Looked like a fullback receiving the punt. I don't know if you saw. It was a different return man. That guy looked like a fullback. He was a, he was a monster. And so here we go. Lincoln County comes back on defense. It's only 14 to nothing, but man, it's just starting to feel like it's a feels like it's a, a million. And uh, Lincoln County needs to come out on defense right now and, and get another stop. So ball at the 22, first and 10 Tigers. So quarterback goes under center, takes the snap. Going to hand it off to his deep man, and he tries to jump through the line. Great tackle that time by number three and number 13. Names we call a lot, Heath Cresswell and C.J. Crite. Looks like they're going to give him, I'm going to say, three yards. Let's see where they spot it. Looks like about four yards on the carry. Second and six. Ball is now on the 26-yard line. Commerce going to be taking their time here. They're already starting to milk this clock just a little bit. Quarterback goes under center, takes the snap, hands it off to his belt. Oh, my goodness, there's a big hole, and he is gone. Uh, nobody going to catch him. It's going to be a 74-yard touchdown run. So that's going to make it 20 to nothing. 9.28 left to go here in the third quarter. Tigers again. Second play in the third quarter for the Tigers. 
And they take it to the house. That was a big hole. Man, it was a hole. Yeah, he just shot, as Leighton likes to say, shot through there like a cannon. Nobody got a hand on him. Nobody ever touched him. And uh, Makai Wade coming over from, I don't know if he was playing corner or safety, trying to get over to him, but was behind him all the way. And they're going to go for the extra point, setting up, kicking towards the gym here in Commerce. Snap Ball is snap, good. good hold. It's in there, upright, yes. Extra point is good. 21-0, Lincoln County down. 9.28 left to go here in the third quarter. And we're going to pause and come back to you. 98.7 FM, Lincoln County Broadcast Network. And welcome back, Radio fans. 9.28 left to go here in the third quarter. 78-74 yard run by Commerce scores a touchdown to take them 21 to nothing here in Commerce as the Tigers are all over the Red Devils tonight. And Commerce will come out and tee it up. One good thing about it, they didn't use up a lot of clock. We need a little bright spot here, just a little one. Ball is teed up. Kick it off. Going to be fielded by Jack Antonagas at the 40-yard line. He's going to be taking forward progress there. Should put him about the 42 or 43 before he's knocked out of bounds. Let's see where they place it. Be first and 10, Lincoln County. Ball on the 41. Uh, right at the 42. So 9.23 left to go here in the third. Lincoln County down 21 nothing. First and 10 ball on the 42. Good field position for the Red Devils. Tight set in there by the Red Devils. One wide receiver in close. Coming towards the visitor side. Lincoln County under center. Going to pass it out. Here comes Franklin Brown, number nine. And so he's bulldozed out about oh. the 45-yard line. And he still hobbled a little bit. So he gets out to about the 45, good four-yard pickup, second and six. A little quick pass out there to Brown. Lincoln County comes out, ball on the 45. Second and six. Huff under center. Got a man in motion. Here comes Samaj Jenkins with the ball as he comes around the side. He's looking for a hole, and he's not going to find one. Closed up quickly as he does get a gain of about three yards on there. It's going to be, let's call it second and three. Third, I mean third and three, excuse me. So good little pickup there by Samaj. Almost at the 50-yard line. We've got to get just over the 50 to make it a first down. Huff gets to play from the sidelines. 8.45 left to go here in the third. 21-0. Commerce on top. Quarterback on the center, James Madison out there, wide receiver. Got a man in motion. Quarterback's going to take it. He's going to roll out. He's got some traffic, and they're all over him at the line of scrimmage. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. I think he did. Yeah, it looks Come like he fell forward to me, but yeah. I didn't give him any extra yardage. So fourth down for the Red Devils. Fourth and a long three. See what we're going to do. You're down 21 nothing. I don't think you can do anything but go for it. What you think, John? I think they're going to have to go for it right here. They got to they gotta get something going. They got to. Uh, two touchdowns is a lot different when you deal with uh, the type of offense that we run and the type of offense commerce runs. Two and three touchdowns is, is, are very different because you're running the ball instead of throwing the ball. So, yeah, you need to, you need to score here. And we're going to talk about it. So Lincoln County takes time out. We're going to take one, too. Go back to the station. 98.7 FM, Lincoln County Broadcast Network.
And welcome back, Lincoln County Red Devil fans. 7.56 left to go here in the third quarter. Lincoln County down 21 nothing. Going forward on fourth down. Fourth and three. We had to take a timeout to talk about it. Lincoln County comes out. They will be going for it. One wide receiver to the left. Lincoln County comes out. Huff's going to be under center. Got a man in motion. Go hand it off to Samaj Jenkins around the side. He's got a lane. And he's hey, going to get enough for a first down. Still and a little it. bit more man. as he goes all the way down to about the 39-yard line. And it's really hard to tell from this side of the field lane, but that sure looked like a hit out of bounds from here. I mean, David's shaking his head. Yeah, it's, I know we're on the other side. but So first and 10, Lincoln County strikes on fourth down. Ball at the 38. And it's going to be the 39. So first and 10 on 39, 746. Left to go in the third. Quarterback's going to be under center. And again, here we go. Going to run the ball out. Number two, Wade. Hey, come on now. How was that not a flag? He just threw number four, Samaj Jenkins. Their defender just picked him up and threw him in the backfield and it was out for the play and they've got away with some cheap shots here tonight folks i can just tell you that was definitely at least unsportsmanlike unnecessary roughness they give a new name to hometown ref right here these are the poster children ball at the 36 second and eight lincoln county quarterback under center Got a man in motion, no wide receiver. Going quarterback on roll out. He's got him open, wide open. Uh, Jack Antonakis. Yes. All the way inside the five, Jack Antonakis. And that he, play is open a lot, Leighton. That play is open a lot. We got to take advantage of the middle of the field. I told you before, Jack Antonakis, big first down for the Red Devils. <laughs> We're knocking on the door. Here we go. First and goal inside the five. 652 left to go here in the third. Down 21 nothing. We're knocking on the door. That's a play we've seen open just about every ball game. And, oh, yeah. Um, I mean, you got to utilize that play. And, and I, you may be able to correct me, Layton. I don't recall Jack ever having a, a real drop problem ever. No. Um, when they've got and him a, the ball. And a big target. Big it. target. They come back up to the ball. First and goal. Ball around the, what, about three-yard line? Yeah. And we're going to try to take it in. They try to do a quarterback keep. Quarterback keep knocked backwards. May have gotten a yard. He's going to be right there close. He's going to be one or two yard line. Going to make it second and goal. It wasn't really a quarterback draw because he didn't really hesitate. He just snapped it and ran forward. I I know. I'll tell you one thing. We don't see a lot of it. It may be because of his shoulder injury from earlier the year. But he used to run a lot of quarterback sneaks, and we have not seen them in the last two weeks. No, we haven't. Ball on the two. Second and goal. Clock at 550. Got a man in motion. We're trying to draw him off. Samaj is going to get set back. A tight set. One wide receiver. In close. Quarterback's going to hand it off. Number two, Wade. Oh, ah. he's a yard short. Yard short. Got him right there at the goal line. He's down, too. No, he gets back up. There he goes. I thought that was it, man. Looked like there was just enough of a crease right there, but he didn't quite make it through. Got to run the quarterback sneak again this time. I think Huff can get it in now. Time just running. Clock, play clock at 18. Devils break huddle. One wide receiver out there, Brown. The Devils in tight everywhere else. Quarterback under center. They're going to run it. 25, Claxton Jones. Oh, he's going to be at the half-yard line. Half-yard line just can't quite get it in. 
We've got to get it in here. This will be devastating. Yeah, this would be this would be if crushing. we do not get it in, it's going to be devastating. Got to send Huff up the middle. I think he can get it. I think he can get that yard. Well, your question again, though, is how's his shoulder? I mean, you don't. That's that's the concern you have because if he's got any pain, man, like you talked about it earlier, yeah, you got a little bit of a mental hesitation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's it's not just the pain; it's it's the trust factor. Ball sitting right on the half yard mark. I mean, just kissing the goal line, just as far as it can kiss it. 4:20 left to go here in the third. We're down 21 nothing. Oh my goodness! Please tell me it's a no, 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 no. It's a timeout, Commerce. Timeout for Commerce. They couldn't take the pressure. Here we go. Timeout, Commerce. While they take one, we're gonna take one and come back to you. Ninety-eight point seven FM, Lincoln County Broadcast Network. Thirty-eight seconds. Twenty-five seconds. Gotta put it in right here now. Oh yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> this would be this would be bad. If you had a little breeze tonight, it'd feel good in here. Ain't no breeze. Zero. Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> and welcome back, Red Devils. Four ten left on the clock here in the third quarter. We're on the half yard line, kissing the goal line with that ball, and we just can't get it. Fourth and short, short as you want to make it. I tell you who hasn't seen a lot of action tonight, and I don't know if he's banged up or if there's a but, but Kelby, uh, Colby, yeah. is it Kelby or Colby? Kelby Glaze. Kelby Glaze, yeah. Kelby Glaze has not uh, read. Red Devils lined up. Claxton Jones in the backfield. Quarterback going to take it. They got to push him, push him, push him. Yeah. Touchdown. Touchdown. They had to push Huff. He hit a brick wall, but they put him on through the brick wall. 4-4 left to go here in the third. Lincoln County finally wakes up. 6-21-6. Tigers on top. And I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't see an onside kicker. You think it's too early. I know. I mean, again, when you're talking the type of offenses we have, man, you you got to start thinking about stuff like that because we don't score fast. Um, and, and they have the running game to, to eat a lot of clock. So 4-4 left to go here in the third. Uh-oh, bad snap. Throwing it into the back of the infield. Oh, hit him right in the hands, and he dropped it. Oh, man. It was a good throw. Hit him right in the hands. I can't see who the number was. So that definitely puts us in a hole, especially in a game like this. So 21 to 6. Lincoln County down. 404 left to go here in the third quarter. We're gonna stay right here with you because I don't think Lincoln County's gonna waste no time. They're gonna get the kicking team out there and let's see what we're gonna do. As um, Abraham Crawford comes out and gets ready to kick off. And let's see what we got. We look like a, I ain't trying to talk out of school here. Looks like we got the hands team at the front down there. I saw coaches had them gathered up a little bit over there. See what they're going to do here. Yeah, I think and Commerce is uh is is making a call right now, moving everybody up, uh, the middle man on the front. I think they're they're looking for it too. Yep, there it is. Oh, oh, get on it, get on it, get on it. We got it, we got it. Got the ball back. Onside kick, great kick by Abraham Crawford. That thing just danced like dancing with the stars on TV. It just danced down the field. Nobody touched it. Like it was 100 degrees on top of it. Number 18, Aiden Deutschel, comes up with the ball. Great job. Yeah, it was almost like Commerce wanted us to get it. 
They so. was just watching it dribble right down the middle of the field. It was right in between them. Ball at the 36, first at 10, Lincoln County. Here we go. He did. They was just turning sideways, watching it roll, almost like they weren't allowed to touch it. Like it was a... Like it just something they ain't never potato. seen. They didn't want to get their hands on it. First to 10, Lincoln County. Ball on the 36. Quarterback on the center. One wide receiver to the left. Quarterback's going to pick it. Oh, he got it. He got hit. it. Little hitch on Franklin Brown. Franklin Brown down to the 10-yard line. They fooled him with the little hitch. And here we yeah. go, boys. Let's roll. It is a pump fake, and the cornerback bit on it just enough. Oh, man, he bit. A he bit all over. Him. It really could have been a touchdown. I can't tell if Franklin just lost the ball or if the ball was placed bad. But, um, man, hey, first and goal. Well, actually, like, only 11. Like a like the dog on the mail, man. He just bit all over it. There you go. Franklin He's Brown back, got behind him. There he goes. Down to the 10-yard line, around 11. First and 10 on 11. Here we go. We're going to hand it off. Samaj Jenkins, he rolls out. He got picked up by the shoestring. Maybe a yard. I think he got about five. Five? Yeah, it looks like he got down to the six-yard line looking at the spot. I can't. Man, let me get up. <laughs> I didn't think he got nothing. Yeah, he might have got maybe four. Either four or five. They did. They moved it four. So we were right inside the 10. Ball about, what would you call it? Uh, I'm just at a bad angle. About the seven or six yeah, yard line. Yeah, pretty close to the seven. Two wide receivers this time. Wade back in the ball game. Quarterback under center. Here comes Wade. They're going to send him in motion. Here he goes. Trying to get around the side. Stiff arm right there. All the way down to about the six. Back to a little bit more than the line of scrimmage. Probably the six, one yard game. What a stiff arm by Wade though. Yeah, Let's we'll call it third and five. We got to punch it in here. We're not going to have another chance like this the rest of the night. 2.34 left to go here in the third, 21-6. Lincoln County on the short end. Quarterback under center. Quarterback's going to take it himself. Rolling out, rolling out. Tried to oh, kick no. it out. Oh, my goodness. It falls on the ground. It falls it? on the ground. Yeah. No, you ain't going to sell it like that. He's out there trying to sell a used car. <laughs> that ball fell on the ground. He's trying to dive on it like he caught it. Fourth down. I feel like you got to slide them around there. You got, you got to send somebody on a sweep. That's where we've had most of our success tonight, on that sweep. They got a big sideline going towards the home side if they could utilize it. They got to get some guys out there in front of him. So fourth down, fourth and about on the sixth. They're going to pass it. Quick pass oh, inside. Adam. Oh. Yeah, they throw a flag. It took them a long time. I, you know. They, they it don't probably, want to the play. It, it, it took him about four seconds. He was just sitting there looking at it, and he watched the play happen. You know, I, I, think, I think if he threw a flag, it was good. If he didn't throw a flag, it was good. I don't know either way that I was sold. Definitely took a big hit after the ball was by him, but it was, ah, you know, like I said, definitely okay. Oh, they're waving they're the, flag the flag off. Oh, they're picking up the flag. Well, I think since he threw the flag, they needed to keep the flag because – Wow. So we get down inside the 10. We can't get it across. Bad call on fourth down. Wow. And you hear the boo birds out there. So 206 left to go here in the third quarter. Commerce with their backs on the wall. They're up 21 to 6 as they get the ball right about the five yard line. I just don't understand how he could take that long to think about it, then throw the flag, then wave it off because he thought about it for about four seconds. So he definitely. He definitely knew what he was doing when he threw that flag. First and 10 Commerce. Go ahead, John. Oh, here we go. First and 10 Commerce. The hands it off. And Lincoln County punishing him in the backfield. That was probably one of the best defensive, uh, you know, efforts we've seen all night. It's going to be actually they're going to give him about half a yard. But um, that may have just been enough to light a little fire under this defense because 
that was pretty frustrating. I'm not going to lie about it. If he, if he wouldn't have taken so long to throw it, I mean, he thought through it. That was, I just can't believe they picked that up. So anyway, second down and nine, we'll say it's really about nine and a half. Ball's on about the seven yard line. A minute 30 to go. Commerce 21, Lincoln County zero. Quarterback's under center. Takes the snap, gonna hand it off to his running back. And we wrap him up again real good. That was a nice, I think that was big Trey Turner again. Wrapped him up. And that's gonna be a no gainer. Looks like based on where they're spotting it. Uh-oh, looks like we have an injured Lincoln County player. I hope that's not Trey. Trey's been a great defensive player this year. Oh, no, it looks like it's Brinson Hurst. Looks like he's gonna stay in though. He just hobbled a little bit. I think he's gonna stay in. Well, when they call a uh, when they call a timeout for injury, I didn't think you were allowed to stay in. But anyway, the the referees called the. So it's gonna be third and nine here. They gave him about a half a yard more. So let's get a stop right here, Red Devils, and get the ball back. That'd be big. Quarterback under center takes the snap. Hands it off to that running back deep in the backfield, and he's going to push forward. And looks like we're going to have a fourth down at the 15, well, 14 and a half yard line. Looks like he's going to be about a full yard short, maybe a yard and a half. Yeah, about a yard and a half. So I would imagine Commerce is going to do the smart thing here and punt this one away. Of course, I would be real careful here for a fate. Samaj Jenkins for the Red Devils going back around the 45-yard line. Yeah, that's what I was just doing. He's going, oh, somebody else just ran off. Going to dance around back there around the 50. Trying to move him around a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of scary. Yeah, that was... Good oh, punt. Man, good big punt. punt. Big punt. Good good catch over his shoulder by Samaj. Willie Mays catch there. Yeah, that was. Got it back across the 50 all the way down to the 49-yard line of Commerce. Yeah, that was a really tough catch. Good catch by Samaj Jenkins on the punt. So Great we're just punt. over the 50-yard line. Five seconds left to go here in the third quarter, down 21 to 6. Going to be first and 10. By, oh, John. What? Oh. I'm sorry, Lee. <laughs> Trying to. First and 10 ball on the 48. John just just almost completely killed the radio show. Well, Layton <laughs> didn't give me a chair, ladies and gentlemen, so I've been having to move around standing up. <laughs> it's Layton's fault. So ball just on the 48-yard line. I'm fixing to have to head down towards the sideline for the rest of the game. Lincoln County under center. First and 10 ball on the 48. Trying to draw them off sides. Got Samaj Jenkins down there with him. Samaj runs. He's going to try to run the sweep. Here we go. And he gets stopped by his own player. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. He pushed forward a little, a few yards, though. It could have been a no gainer. He ended up getting about two and a half out of it. John, I just saw the biggest cockroach I think I've ever seen. <laughs> That thing was bigger than the old older model Cadillac. It was about an 85 Cadillac. That thing was long. Good gracious. That thing scared me. I almost got my pistol out. So they in, where is he at? Man, I got look how big he is. Man, they're growing big down here. That's the biggest cockroach I've seen. He's gonna jump on Layton's ball head. <laughs> Into the third quarter as we start the fourth here in Commerce. 21 to 6. Commerce on top. Lincoln County gonna have the ball. Around the 47-yard line, 46-yard line, going to be second and eight. Man, that's a big cockroach. Look out! Look at him. That thing's bigger than John. I mean, <laughs> it's bigger than Benton. He's going over there towards Benton and Wesley, though, so I ain't too worried about it. I think the only way you, you could kill that thing would be to shoot him. <laughs> you couldn't step on him. If you stepped on him, he'd just pick you up. Oh, my goodness. The commerce cockroaches. Good gracious alive. <laughs> I bet the, exterminator, the exterminators around here, I bet they get paid triple digits, boy. 
If you got to fight that every day, man, you you in a hard place. You better look around over here and make sure. <laughs> that thing, that thing had a full twelve-inch sub. For we got, uh, man, a twelve-foot-long sub. For we got here, that thing's huge. We're gonna turn around, man. Quit, man. We're gonna go. Around. We're gonna we're gonna turn around and go towards the gym here in Commerce. Second and eight. Wade in there. Quarterback in the shotgun, low snap. Oh, through an interception. And Huff so throws threw two flags on the play. He threw an interception, but I know one's roughing the passer. I know that. One is roughing the passer. I don't know what the other is. Clock stops at 11.48. Left to go here in the fourth. Again, we're down 21 to 6. Huff has just thrown the interception. If it if it goes. I think they're going. I think it's going to be against the Tigers. Looks like they're going to place the ball back at around the 47. They're going to pick up the laundry and see where we're at. One out. Well, wait a minute, though. They didn't. Why didn't they move the ball if there was a penalty on the Tigers? I don't understand. Uh, it's, it's where it was. I don't know, man. I mean, I'm, I'm really confused. I think Coach Hopkins is too, as he's asking her. I, I don't know what's going on. Anyway. So second down. And about eight. Quarterback under center. Quarterback's going to keep himself. He's going to roll out. He's going to be looking. He's looking. He's looking. He's got Tigers all around him. He's going to take it himself as he takes it all the way down to around the 40-yard line. Close to the 40. He's close to a first down. He's probably about two yards short, wouldn't you say, John? Uh, yeah, right at maybe maybe two and a half. But a, uh, it was a nice pickup because it looked like he was going to be, it looked like he was might even be sacked in the backfield, and he was able to get away from it. So third down and about two, two and a half. Huff getting the play from the sideline. I'm fitting to give John my chair. Man, I won't know what to do with it. Third and about two and a half. They got to hurry down to two, one. They're gonna hand it off. Oh, he, he just fell when he come out the backfield. I think they're going to give him about a yard on the carry. Well, a good spot if they do, because I don't feel like he, I feel like he fell at the line of scrimmage. They give him about a half a yard. Yeah, about a half a yard. Another fourth down. So fourth and two, clock running, 10-28. We ain't got a lot of time left here in commerce. Ball on about the 39-yard line. And here goes the Red Devils. He's got met up right oh. in the hole. Up in it. He's going to be short. I think he's, he's got it. No, I think he's got, he's got, it? got it. I think that's a good spot. I think that, that was – he dove forward and he was hitting the legs and flipped over. They're going to measure gonna it. It's going to be close. I mean, it's going to be but, close. But the way these guys are spotting the ball tonight, it ain't going good for us at all. I'm just saying. John, make sure we tip that trash can back over before we leave. I ain't doing it. We just gonna let we gonna let them do that. We are gonna let them do that. All right. That's what they get paid. We don't want to take their job from them. We don't want to put nobody out of work. That's right. Don't want to put nobody out of work. So here comes the chain game. Ten oh eight left to go. Clock stopped at ten oh eight. Fourth quarter. We're down twenty one to six, and this is a big measurement here. Let's see. He got it. Oh, and just by the length of the ball, a half a length of the ball puts us in business. First and 10, ball on the 39. We, I think we got to pass the ball here. We're running out of daylight. Yeah, we're definitely running out of time. 10 minutes to go in the game. And somewhere around here, we need a two-point conversion. Yeah, we two scores down. What are they blowing the horn for? 
All right. Is this thing gonna reach the Benton? Okay. I don't know if it's gonna reach the David. Lincoln County, good play, big, good play, good play. big game there. By Samaj Jenkins, puts us in business. Big first down there by Lincoln County. Well, he got run out. It was a short. He was short by a yard. So it's going to be second and one. He run out of bounds. Stopped the clock at 949. Second and a long one. About one and a half. Big gain there. Eight yard gain by Samaj Jenkins. Ball on the 31 yard line. Quarterback under center. Got a tight set. Franklin Brown in there, wide receiver. And we're going to try to hit him again. Franklin needs some lean. Oh, my goodness. Uh, he had a step. He just, oh, goodness. He's down. He's there. down. He stretched out for it. Maybe just knocked his wind out. So we're going to take a timeout as we take an injury timeout. We're going to come back to you. 98.7 FM, Lincoln County Broadcast Network. Mm. They had a shooting at the Thompson Laney game. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And some injuries. And welcome back, Lincoln County broadcast. Lincoln County Red Devil fans, I'm sorry I was talking with Layton. Um, we want to uh, just announce that we've heard there's been a shooting at the Thompson Laney game, and I definitely want to let everyone know to be praying about that. Um, that's terrible news. I don't think there's any real info that we have yet to be able to tell you any more than that, but I uh, definitely want to be praying about that situation. Was it at Laney or at Thompson? And so Lincoln County still here to time out, 9.44 to go. Third down and two. Lincoln County down. 15 points, Commerce 21, Lincoln County 6. So Trey goes under center, takes the snap, hands it off to his running back. Well, number three, it was Heath Cresswell that time. I think that was his first carry of the ball game. I think he's going to pick up one on the play, and it's going to make it fourth down and one. Yeah, I think that was Heath's first carry of the night, not his first carry of the season, the first one on this evening. Not much in the middle all night long. No, the middle has been hard to get anything going. Uh, Commerce's middle has definitely done their job. So nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Fourth down and one. Lincoln County goes under center. We got one wide out, Madison to the left. Takes the snap, hands it off to his running back, tries to stretch it out. That's a horse collar. Horse collar. That, that is a horse collar. Thank you. Yeah, there wow. it is. I didn't I was think gonna, he was going to throw it. I thought. Listen, I'm going to tell you all, if he didn't throw it out when Coach Hompson's will get kicked out of this ball game <laughs> because it's been all night fighting, and it took him a long time to throw that one. He puts that flag so deep in his pocket it takes forever to get it out. That's the same one that, that took forever to throw the flag on the, in the end zone. I'm telling you, man, and, and he, if again, just like the targeting, that was a textbook yes. <laughs> horse collar. I mean, that was a – they don't get any clearer than that. They do not get any clearer than that. His, I think he was down to his elbow in the back of his jersey. Yes. Scratching my back. Yeah. So horse collar is going to give Lincoln County 15 yards, and that's going to make it first down and 10. They're going to place the ball down at the 17-yard line. First and 10 at the 17. Layton just had to go be on the field, so David Newberry on the microphone with me right now. 
And on the camera. So if it's and shaky on the camera. and, and y'all watching this later, it's all me. My fault. My bad. This <laughs> is <laughs> his first night on the camera, I believe. Yes. So Trey goes under center, takes the snap. He's going to fake the handoff to Makai. He's looking downfield. He's got, got men open yes. all over the field. I mean, he had nobody was on Jack. He threw it up the middle to Samaj Jenkins for a touchdown. Uh, and it is complete for a touchdown, but he had Jack, Jack Antonakis on the right, and then there was one other player on the right. I, I can't remember who it was, but there were literally no defenders there. <laughs> and he threw it to Samaj, who was going right up the seam at the middle of the field, completes it. So that's going to make it 21 to 12. Everybody in a black jersey just knew we were going to run that ball. 21-12. We're going so over two here for sure. Lincoln County fighting their way back into this ball game. That's exactly what we needed. Ten seconds to play. Come on, guys. Yeah. And we're going to go for two here. Quarterback goes under center. Fake the handoff. They're going back to pass again. Get there. Nobody there. Uh, and it's going to be intercepted. Mm. He just He just threw one up. He just threw one up to see what he could do with it. He had pressure all in his face. Nowhere for him to run. He just had to throw up a prayer, and Commerce came down with it. Mm. And so that's going to leave it 21-12. That's a killer. That's a killer. Yeah, that need, needed that conversion. Yeah, you did. But come on, defense. Let's let's get out there and do our job. We still have almost nine minutes to go. 8:34 left to go in the ball game. So there's still plenty of plenty of time. And I don't think Lincoln County has used a timeout in this half. No, I think you're right. Uh, uh, the Commerce, if I recall correctly, has used a timeout. They really yes. need to update their scoreboard here because all it is is time score, and that's about it. Four quarter. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they don't give us yards to go or down or anything on Nothing. their scoreboard. <clears throat> so Lincoln County runs out for kickoff here. The so last time we went squib slash onside. I don't know what we're going to do here. They look. They act like we're gonna go onside again. Yeah, they got everybody up this uh -huh. time. Not like last time, and really, everybody so far up. You really got a lot of the yeah. field to squib one through there anyway. And I mean, they got one man deep standing about the 20 yard line. So let's see what we got. Line up the kick, and it is a kind of a squib kick, and it's gonna be taken at the. What is that, about the 42-yard line? Line drive at 43. 43. I think you're saying 43. Yeah, the line drive, yeah. And nice hands by that Commerce player because it, it wasn't softly kicked. No, not at all. <laughs> he could have let it go out of bounds, and it would have started them at the 35 automatically, but they end up picking up about eight yards by taking that catch. I know, David, you're on the camera. Do you want to call the defense? Um, I, I don't know if I'll. All right, I'll, I'll just, call it. You just you just I'll help do, me out here. I'll do color. All right, it? here we go. All right, <laughs> Commerce comes out on offense. Quarterback under center, tight formation. It's going to be a pitch out right this time. There is a flag on the yeah, play. Great go. tackle that time by C.J. Crite, and I think it was, uh, is that Heath Cresswell or was that Makai? That was Makai Wade yeah. on the tackle. <clears throat> I'm telling you, man, that freshman – Makai Wade is going to be something special on both sides of the ball. I really don't know how well he's feeling. He took a really big hit in the first half and hasn't had the same speed the rest of this, this ball game, but he is fighting through the pain, and he has uh, been throughout this game giving it everything he's got. Yeah, well, there's, a, there's a handful to, to two handfuls of players that have really just – Laid it all out there tonight, and they've been some big hits. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, that, this has been one of the bigger hitting games I've seen in a long time for a, for Lincoln County game. So that's going to be a um, it's a 15 yard penalty. It looks like um, on Commerce. So I didn't, I couldn't see through the window what the call was, but I'm going to guess it was some type of a chop block, maybe, um, with the way that it was thrown. So first and 25 now, ball back around the 31 yard line. Quarterback takes the snap. 
He actually hands it off up the middle to his fullback. And he's going to pick up about four on the play. It's going to make it second down and 21. It's not often you see a power eye formation like they ran all night. Quarterback goes under center power. Yeah, power, true power eye right now. I mean, mm -hmm. it is in tight. If you if you know what a power eye for amazing, this is it. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off to his deep running back, and he's got a hole, and he makes one man miss, and he's going to pick up a first down, I believe, or right no, at no. it. Let's see. No, it depends no, still on the got spot. 10 more yards to go. Oh, I'm, yeah, you're right. That was about a 10-yard gain. I'm sorry. <laughs> trying to look. I was standing outside where I had a better view. I think I need to go back out there with you because I can't see through this window where Leighton was sitting. So that's going to make it third down and 10 to go. Commerce taking their time. Six minutes, 40 seconds left to go as the clock is moving. Lincoln County 12, Commerce 21. Five on the play clock. I don't know if they're going to get this off. Three. And they're oh, going to call, call a timeout. timeout. Yeah. Yep. That's Commerce is going to take one. a timeout. So while they take a timeout, we're going to take a timeout here at the Lincoln County Commerce game in Commerce, Georgia. We will be right back with you on the Lincoln County Broadcast Network. And welcome back, Lincoln County Red Devil fans. We are here in Commerce, Georgia. 6.29 left to go in the ball game. Commerce 21, Lincoln County 12. We have third and long for Commerce. Ball on the 43-yard line. Third and about 10 and a half. Big, big third down play right here. Lincoln County needs to hold them. Quarterback goes under center for Commerce. Takes the snap, hands it off to his deep running back. There's a big hole right up the middle, mm, and it's really going to depend on the spot. And it looks like they gave him oh, yeah. about 11 on the carry, so yep. it's going to be just enough for a first down. That kid's special. He is. They got a good. They got a great running back. Um, Commerce didn't do anything fancy today. Nope. Nothing at all. They haven't. They haven't attempted a pass. Not a pass um, that I can remember. Um, I mean, nothing fancy. Uh, run right, run left, full pitch right, dive. pitch right, throw a fullback dive in there about once every six or seven plays. Um, that's about all they've had. Commerce first and 10 in Lincoln County Territory now on the 46-yard line. Takes the snap, hands it off to the deep running back. He's going to slip through for a few, not a whole lot, but uh, they're going to fall forward for about four. It's going to make it second and six. And Lincoln County really in the second half doing a pretty good job on defense apart from a 74-yard run mm -hmm. that Commerce got for a touchdown. And their second play of the half, they took it to the house, untouched right up the middle. But we've really been holding better on the line of scrimmage. So second down and six to go. 5.25 left now to go in the ball game. Commerce 21, Lincoln County 12 here in Commerce, Georgia. Goes under center, takes the snap, hands it off to the running back, and he's trying to find some room around the right side. He doesn't have much. I believe that was C.J. Crite coming in on the tackle. I believe that on the far side of the field, it's a little hard to get numbers from here, but he's going to pick up about four more. It's going to be third and two. Smart kid right there, did not go out of bounds, just went ahead and fell down, took what he could get, fell down, clock management. Yep. Very intelligent football. Yep. Knowing the clock is their friend right yep. now. Yep. 
Lincoln County has outscored Commerce 12 to seven in the second half, but Commerce put up 14 in the first half. Quarterback goes under center, takes the snap, and Full he's back. going to fullback dive. First down. And it's going to Man. be a first down. He's going to pick up about five on the play. Goes across the right side of that line again. He's up to the Lincoln County 31-yard line. First and 10 there. Four minutes, 20 seconds left now here in the fourth quarter. Commerce breaks huddle, trying to use all the clock they can. Play clock under five seconds now. Takes the snap, hands it off to his running back deep in the backfield. Mm. He looks like he's going to pick up about another eight yards, maybe. Uh, it's only going to be about six. We're getting pushed backwards at oh, every yeah, position right now, on the line. Little, yeah, right now he's got a lot of room to run. And he, yep. and it's going to be a seven-yard game. Ball's at the 25-yard line now. Second down and three to go. Again, Commerce taking as much time as they can. Ten seconds on the play clock. Three minutes, ten seconds left to go in the game. Quarterback goes under center, tight formation, power eye, takes the snap, fakes the handoff. Bootlegs out to his left. Oh, cuts back in the middle of the field. He's got some space. And we are going to finally bring him down at about the 12-yard line. Um, nobody was spying the quarterback. He hasn't done that much tonight. Different. Yeah, yeah, he faked the pitch and then ran. He faked the pitch out right and ran to his left. And uh, plenty of room for him. And then when we caught up with him, he cut back to the middle of the field and got about another five or six yards. So first and 10, under three minutes left now. Ball on the 12-yard line. <clears throat> first and 10, tight. Commerce goes under center. Takes the snap, hands it off to his full back. And he's fighting, fighting, gets inside the 10, gets to about the eight yard line. Full back dive. It's gonna make second down and about six to go. They're doing what they wanna do right now. They're moving the ball. They're not having to throw the yeah. ball. If they want to run in the middle, they run in the middle. If they want to run outside, they run outside. We're all dejected and heads down right now. Got a lot of hands on the hips right yep. now. You can tell we're tired. Yep. We fought hard in the second half trying to get Claw our way back in this ball game. Just didn't quite have enough. Quarterback goes under center, takes the snap. Full Another back. fullback dive. And that's going to take us under two minutes to go. It's going to be a pickup of, let's see, about three on the carry. It looks like it's going to make it third down and one. According to the camera, I've got seven minutes of battery life left, so it might work out just perfect. Hey, we look like we're going to be just right then. <laughs> Lincoln County down nine points, 21 to 12. Down to a minute 18 left. Quarterback takes the snap, hands it off to his running back. And looks like he's going to get a first down do at about the one yard line. And I would imagine Commerce is going Go into a victory formation. I think we got some timeouts to kill here, so I, I really guess it depends on. Now is where you see if we have the no mercy player or the not no mercy player, like what yeah. we talked about earlier. There we go. Yeah. Do you take the knee or do you try to push it in? We're down at 40 seconds left. They're going to run it. They're going to try to score here, it looks like. Yeah. 
Yeah. And he walks into the end zone. Right, Touchdown does. Commerce. Runs through the left guard and left tackle. And it's going to make it 27 to 12 with 29 seconds left to go in the ball game. Line up for the extra point. Snap is good, hold is good, kick is up, and it's good. And that's gonna make it 28 to 12. So while they get ready to set up, we're gonna take a break, let you hear from one more of our sponsors, and we'll be right back with you on the Lincoln County Broadcast Network. Did they say if that game was in Thompson or in Laney? Is that Laney? And welcome back, Lincoln County Red Devil fans. We are here in Commerce, Georgia, where Commerce just took a 28 to 12 lead over our Lincoln County Red Devils with 29 seconds left to go in the ball game. Yep, their homecoming tonight. Their homecoming. And again, uh, if you had, if you didn't hear us earlier, we definitely want to send out prayers to the situation uh, Leighton just heard about where there was a shooting at the Laney-Thompson game in Laney. And we don't know any details other than that, but uh, hopefully, hopefully we're going to leave here and find out that nobody was seriously injured. Um, we are uh, getting ready to receive this kickoff here. 29 seconds left to go. Commerce. Lines up, and it's going to kick right up the middle, and it's going to be scooped up. I believe that's still Josiah Claxton Jones that scoops it up and takes it all, takes it up to the 30-yard line, where Lincoln County will have 23 seconds left to see what we could do. Well, I know what I would do, but I don't know if me and the coach are on the same page, but I'd take a <laughs> knee here and get on the bus. Yeah. We on the short end of the stick here, 12 to 28 as it stands, 23 seconds to go in the fourth. We are not in take a knee formation. We are not. I think the county comes out on offense. Oh, there's only one second on the play clock. Zero seconds on the play clock. We're going to let it run down. And Trey goes back to pass. He's going to get it out to Meatball, who's going to have it up at the 40-yard line. I believe that's going to be enough for a first down. And out of bounds. Stop the clock. A little two-minute offense here with 20 seconds to go. Yeah, that's going to stop the clock at 16 seconds. Oh, they call him second down. Oh, no, they let him be first. And we break huddle. Quarterback goes under center, one wide out to the right. Man goes in motion from right to left, goes back to pass. No, get there, get there, get there. And they're going to throw it deep downfield to mm. uh, James Madison. He's going to overthrow his target. Ten and seconds. it's going to leave 10 seconds left on the play clock. They, uh, at that time, the defender didn't bite. Did not bite that time. Like he did the first time when Meatball ran the same play. Well, he had more of a cushion here. Yeah. Whereas the play before that we almost scored on, he was almost in bump and run. He had a 10-yard cushion here. Second 10, 10 seconds to go. Yep. And we're missing a player on the Devin field. Devin Hogan coming in. Devin late. Hogan comes in. Four seconds on the play clock. I don't think we're going to get this one off. Oh, we, uh, did. we do. 
And it's going to probably be the last uh, play of the game. And Trey's going to throw it deep downfield. Oh, and great attempt that time by C.J. Three Cray. seconds left. Uh, C.J. goes up to try to get it. He falls incomplete, uh, but he was able to reach over the defender and get his hands on it. That kid's an athlete, too. His daddy is oh, an athlete. Oh, he is, man. And, and CJ is a great ball player, and if you didn't know, CJ is just a 10th grader. We got a lot of young talent. Yep. We really do. Yep. Um, I, I don't know if I would classify us as a young team this year. Um, you got a three-year starter at quarterback. Um, you know, you got Samaj that's uh, really three years in. Meatball, three years. I mean, you got some, you got enough leadership on this team, but we do have some young bright spots, too, so. Trey takes the snap and shotgun. He's going to throw it deep downfield and throws an interception. Right. That's and buzzer. that's going to end the ball game. Right at the buzzer. So the final. And so final score, Lincoln County 12, Commerce 28 here in Commerce, Georgia. And we're going to take just a minute, go back to the station here from one of our sponsors while we get our stats together. And uh, we'll be right back with you on the Lincoln County Broadcast Network. 